Henry Hudson's fourth and last voyage. Nice to see you again, Mr. Lupin. Nice to see you too, Mr. Hudson. The other merchants and I are going to provide you with a very fine ship weighing 70 tons. She is called the Discovery. She should be able to get you to the passage very quickly. I've been on three voyages and failed miserably on every single one. I hope I will succeed on this one. The ship will not let you down, and smooth sailing to you. Henry will now go gather his crew and prepare for his voyage. On April 17, 1610, Hudson set sail from England on the Discovery. He was heading to a place he had heard of called the Furious Overfall. He thought that if he broke through the ice barrier, then he would be able to sail through the warm region to the Far East. He was obsessed with the dream of finding an easy route from Europe to China. A harsh winter forced them to seek shelter and wait the winter out. They were in the area which is now known as the Hudson Bay after him. They were running out of provisions and it was a long, miserable winter. The crew grew mutinous with the captain. There were rumors going around that Hudson was showing favoritism in the distribution of meager provisions. On June 23, 1611, the fourth voyage ended in mutiny. The crew seized Henry Hudson himself, his son, seven sick crew members, including the disabled ones, and cast them all adrift away from the boat. Nothing was ever heard from the castaways again. We only know these stories from the mutineers that come back to England alive. On April 17, 1610, Hudson sailed 